Audio recordings obtained by KGW help illustrate the confusion at TriMet as drivers struggle to deal with instances of overcrowded buses and possible contamination. As I was pulling up, he spit all over his hands and just started touching every single part of the bus. In one case, dispatch recordings suggest a TriMet bus driver doesn't have proper safety or sanitation supplies available on board. And you wouldn't happen to have any... Uh wipes or sanitizing stuff in your pouch or anything there? Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any wipes left. In the recording, dispatchers asked the driver to return to the garage, but there's clear confusion about how the incident should be handled and how the driver, who was possibly contaminated, should clean off. I don't know. I'm not OSHA. I'm not a hazmat team. I don't know. I was going to call the fire department here in a minute. Well, uh, that's... Uh, it might be an ultimate solution there. By the way, that's not the first. Shirley Block, president of ATU 757, the union representing TriMet drivers and operators, said the agency has been slow to respond to safety concerns surrounding the coronavirus outbreak. Okay, any suggestion that we make to them is like pouring water out of a glass because they don't listen. When asked about safety protocol, TriMet provided a three-page memo marked draft which outlined procedures for dealing with COVID-19 contamination on a bus. But as for a contaminated driver, the agency said it doesn't have a written policy yet, only verbal. TriMet claims it has enhanced bus cleaning procedures, sanitizing vehicles at least once, if not more, each day. They claim they have a plan now, but for weeks we have been trying to get them to get a plan in place. Another concern, overcrowded trains and buses, as revealed in dispatch recordings. At one moment I had every seat on my bus had somebody in it. Uh, yeah, I mean, the six feet is a, is a suggestion. It's the ideal to prevent the virus from being transmitted. Can't always meet that ideal. If you feel it's getting unsafe, just make a choice. To promote six feet of social distancing, TriMet put up these signs, and the agency is no longer taking cash on buses. We continue to look at ways to encourage social distancing, wrote TriMet spokesperson Roberta Alstead in an email to KGW. TriMet drivers suggest they're on their own to enforce social distancing among passengers while still maintaining their routes and service on time. TriMet drivers suggest getting more buses on the road would help. Greater frequency means fewer crowds, allowing people to spread out. Again, social distancing. Kyle Aboshi, KGW News.